We are not here to condemn anybody. We are not here to throw your sins and your wrongdoings in your face. No. We are here to let you know that Jesus loves you. And Jesus has a plan for your life. And there's purpose and there's destiny that is attached to your life. So he declared, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. Let me tell you something. There is life after death. Yes. There are many people that believe that when you're dead, you're dead. No. There is life after death. And it is what you do now that will decide where you're going to spend your eternity. And we are here this morning because we want you to experience eternity with Jesus Christ. Yes. We want you to experience eternity reigning before King, the Lord Jesus Christ. So he did not come into this world to condemn this world, but that the world through him might be saved. Bronze Road, Sergeant's Village. Jesus Christ wants to save you. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free. He paid the ultimate sacrifice so that you can be free. So that you don't have to walk in bondage and worrying about what is happening and what is going to happen tomorrow. But he wants that as you put your trust and your hope in him, you don't have to worry about tomorrow. Because he looks after your tomorrow. So that is why we are here this morning. Because Jesus Christ loves you. Yes. And he cares about you. We could have been any other place this morning. Yes. We could have been in St. Lucy. But we are here because God said, Sergeant's Village. Because there's somebody in this community that is grappling with a decision. That has to make some type of decision that is going to change their life forever. And he's saying this morning, you do not have to go down the wrong road. You do not have to take your life. You do not have to continue in the lifestyle that you are functioning in. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter what you are involved in. There are many people who are involved in drugs who are involved in homosexuality, they're involved in gossiping, they're involved in stealing. But let me tell you something, Jesus Christ is not here to judge you at the point that you are, are, are at, but he wants to turn your life around, that you can come out of whatever it is that you are struggling with. So we present to you today Jesus. He loves you. He cares for you. He died for you. That you might have life and have it more abundantly. I'm here to declare to you, right now you might be struggling with poverty. And you might not be able to make ends meet. But I present to you a Jesus Christ that can move you out of a place of lack and obscurity. And bring you in the, into a place of prosperity yes. and blessings. There are many of you today that are struggling with many different sicknesses. Whether it be diabetes and cancer and high blood pressure and so on. We present to you today a Jesus that can heal you. Yes. And there are whole scores of us up here today that have proven Jesus for ourselves. We are not here this morning because we have nothing else to do. But we have tried him and we have proven him to be whatever he says he is. So we present him to you today. Yes. And he is more than willing to receive you. In closing today, there are many groups today, many societies that say to you, when you join up with my society, when you join up with my society, when you join up with the Lodge, you have to sacrifice yourself. Or you have to give all of your, your, your possessions over to them. I'm here to say to you today, that's not the person that we presented to you today. All he wants for you is your life. 
That's all he wants. There are many people today that are joining secret societies in the attempt to get through in this life. I want to warn you this morning. These things are from the enemy. They are just tricks to keep you trapped. But when you give your life over to Jesus Christ, you walk in freedom. Yes. You walk in hope. So I encourage you today. Those of you in the hearing my voice, so they know you are hearing me today. Give your life over to him. And it's a very simple process. I'm going to be praying for you at this stage, and I want you to repeat after me. And the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, you can't do it in your mind, but you've got to open your mouth and say, Lord, I am a sinner. I have done wrong. The Bible declares that he will come into your life. So for those of you that are hearing me today, and you would like to give your life over to Jesus Christ, repeat after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge, I acknowledge I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. You, died you died for me that I might have life, I might have life. And, joy and joy and peace. And peace. I, open I open up my heart, my heart to, receive you to receive you as my master, as my master. And, my king. and my king. With your help, the things that I used to do, I will do them no longer because you are now my new owner. I forgive myself for the times that I would have messed up. And I thank you for receiving me today as your child. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you have said that prayer today, I want to see that there is rejoicing in heaven. You should set such a, a peace. You should set such a change over your life because you have not moved from one kingdom to the other. You have moved from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. So, Father, I bless the people in this community. I pray God in the name of Jesus for those that are mourning right now. I sense to my spirit that there have been so much loss in this community. I pray God that you will minister healing. Bring comfort for those that mourn. In the name of Jesus. I pray for the women in this community. I pray God that you will indeed raise up. Women that would indeed teach the younger women how to be women. How to be good examples. I pray for the men. I pray for those on the block. I pray for those in the, the drug den. I pray God that you would invade these areas. I would pray that you would bring men and women off of crack, cocaine and drugs. Bring them out of it in the name of Jesus. And cause them to walk in freedom. In the name of Jesus. So Father, I declare this community blessed. I declare it blessed. From the top right down to the bottom of this gap, God. I declare it blessed in the name of Jesus. And I pray that this community will see the goodness of the Lord. While they are alive. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And we bless you for doing it. I give you my soul. I live for you. Alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm away, have your way.
Now, as it was announced at, announced at the beginning, sergeants, we are going to be coming to your homes. We're going to be sharing the love of Jesus Christ with you. If you have any prayer requests, we are going to be more than willing to be praying with you. If there are any concerns, anything like that, as we come to you, we just want you to share today in the name of Jesus. And we are more than willing to assist you.